Whether you call them crop dusters or aerial applicators, pilots in rural America play a vital role in a safe and abundant food supply. Madison Quinn and I talk with Toby McPherson of Tall Towers Aviation near Page, North Dakota. Of the 347 million acres that, that are of cropland in the country, we treat a third of that every year. They say we're out there, you're one of those poison pushers, you know, and I say, we enjoy that here in the U.S., the safest, most abundant, most affordable food supply in the world, and I stick to that. McPherson is the owner-operator of Tall Towers Aviation. He fell in love with flying at an early age. One of my brothers, and I've got eight, seven brothers, uh, Grew up in Erie, North Dakota, just east here, about 10 miles. We'd watch the neighbor spraying uh, with an airplane all the time, and my brother was a senior, and I was a second grader. He's 10 years older than I, and looked at me, and he says, that's what I'm going to do. And I looked up at him and said, me too. Like farming, the average age of pilots is rising, and new pilots are needed. There's 3,500 of us in the whole country, 1,500 uh, operations, roughly, and a lot of it operations have two pilots or, or more. The average age of uh, most of us has been in the 50s or upper 50s, you know, a lot like farmers. And, and uh, we are getting uh, some younger pilots in, trying to get a, a 200 hours in an airplane, man. It's, it's, it's some money nowadays, you know. Toby says any place there's agriculture in the world, there's airplanes. While drones and technology may serve a role in the future of aerial applications, there will always be crop dusters. I don't uh, believe uh, the, the drones are, they'll have a niche in the, in the market, I believe. Uh, the gallonage and the, the speed. When we need to get work done, especially spraying, we jump in the airplane and, and go, I mean, do it. You know, I, I have no qualms about doing it. And uh, a lot of, you know, most of the operators in the country uh, anymore are, have the same thoughts. You know, they've been doing it for 30, 40 years, and it'll always be there. The, the crop duster has to be there because, like I said, we, uh, the fruit and vegetables that we eat through the winter and stuff are, are treated by airplanes, all of it. Following the events of 9-11, Toby says the significance of the aerial application industry and the food we eat was on greater display. The general public didn't really know what we, you know, what, what's a crop duster, you know. Well, after 9-11, uh, we were grounded for a few days, but we had to get back spraying, protecting those potatoes, uh, the fruits, you know, down in Florida, down in uh, the southern states, whatever it was. And that's when the, the country found out about really a, what a crop duster does. So what does a crop duster do when it's time to retire? It's still fun, so people ask how long are you going to do this, and I said, well, I'm a terrible golfer. I uh, tried to play pickleball, uh, pulled my hamstring, never done that before. As long as i am got my health, uh, I'm, I'm just content, you know. I'm Reporting from the field at Tall Towers Aviation near Page, North Dakota, with Madison Quinn, I'm Rusty Halverson for the Mighty 790 and 104.7 KFGO.